Have you read? Hi, good morning to everybody. Have you ever feel like you're in a spot that you don't know uh, how to make a decision, which is the better for you or for your future? I have been in this uh, position a lot of times. So today I'm going to show you a way to predict the future. Um, for this, I'm going to keep this roadmap. First, I wanna, I'm going to talk with you what is a future telling, some reasons to go with a fortune teller, teller, and how to be a fortune teller. First, uh, the fortune telling has been a practice, uh, has been practiced so, uh, from many years ago in different cultures. In this practice, they predict information about a person's life in so many ways. You can read the hand, uh, astrology, even read your coffee now. There's a lot of ways to, to predict your future. Uh, the person who's, who predict their future are called psychic, and they claim to use a extra, extrasensory perception to identify information hidden from the normal sense. Uh, so, uh, there, there could be a lot of reasons to go to a psychic, but the main ones are prevention, yeah, because you want to prevent an uh, accident or uh, bad things in your life. Other um, reason to go to a psychic is when you have to make a really tough decision in your life and you don't know what, which way you, you should take, but some people go for, for because of this, this reason. And the other, I think, is the main one, is to feel better. Sometimes you feel depressed, you feel down, and a lot of people can tell you, don't worry, it's gonna be okay, but sometimes you need a, a, a person you don't know, a person who claims to have this power to tell you, no worries, everything's gonna be okay, so you can feel better again. So, there's many ways to to predict the future. One, one of the, those are the extrasensory perception or heritage. The pe persons uh, pass the knowledge between generations or persons that have an extrasensory perception, maybe a sixth six sense. Other way are the, st the statistic and observation. Also the technology can help us to predict the future and Origami, that is my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, now I'm going to talk about the extrasensory perception or heritage. Uh, the, I think one of the oldest way to predict the future is the palm reading, to read your hand. So in the Chinese culture, they, when you're a male under 30 years, you use your left hand to predict your future. If you are a female under 30, you use your right hand. So, I'm gonna talk about two main lines, the lifeline and the money line. Okay, so the lifeline starts from the, from the top of, the, of your palm, between the thumb and the index, and is this one. So, it, don't worry if your line is not really Big because doesn't predict uh, <laughs> doesn't predict the the, lo the how long you're gonna live. This tells you if it's a strong line, that means that you're a, a vital, you have good health, and you won't have any problems with sickness and things like that. If you have like a, a short or really fake line, it means that you might have problems with your health but nothing to worry about. The money line is the one, the crest is not a really, uh, mark, a really line, but it's all the crest you have in your tongue. Uh, and the more lines you have here, is small wealth you will uh, accumulate in this line. It's in this, all the little lines counts. So, the statistic and observation. Uh, I, got, I want to show you a video that uh, can help help us understand this better. You know, 
honestly, just be yourself and imagine you can read minds. Perfect. I like that, actually. That's great. Hey, hi. how are you? I'm Jake. I'm Paul. Hey, nice to meet you, Paul. Come on in. So, as you know, we're going to be doing a reading today. Have you ever been read before? Nope. Oh, great. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun. I feel like you uh, made a recent change in the past few years. I feel like you made a recent change in the last few years. A big one. A big one. Like I moved, or a career switch. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I um, I changed careers. Congratulations. I moved from Massachusetts to California. Fantastic. Last October. Quite a big change. Yeah. How did I know this about Paul? Well, his first giveaway was his Boston accent. The second clue was his age. On average, men 55 to 60 years old change jobs about 11 times over their career. I feel, did you live near Nantucket? Did you live near Nantucket? I did. I live on Cape Cod, which is near Nantucket. I'm getting a letter H. Because I'm getting a letter H somehow, but did anything that mean anything to you? The town I lived in was Harwich. Ah. <laughs> there it is. How'd you get that? Nearly 40% of Americans live near water. <laughs> Calls lapel pin a dead giveaway from someplace cultured like Cape Cod. The two largest towns there begin with the letter H. Can I ask you one question? Of course. Um, love language. Is there something on your mind in particular you want? Uh, yes. I just met someone. Does their name start with the letter J? Start with the letter J? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like coming through, like you just bring that in here. Wow. Yeah, that's great, right? Yeah. A good psychic knows that out of the top 200 male baby names of the 1980s, the letter J appears almost 33 times. <laughs> I was blown away by some of the things you were able to do. How are you able to actually read into their future? And the math and statistics behind it is you all have similar experiences. You can, you know, really pick up on a lot of things about a person. So a combination of observation and statistics, no? Yeah, right? it's more math than science. And you see any good things in my future? I you see it. all good things in your future, Jake. They're better already. <laughs> this is great. It's working already. <laughs> That's how you use statistic and observation in a, uh, a way to predict the future. Um, oh, sorry. The other way is technology. Now, nowadays, the technology have uh, really, really good uh, types to apps and other things. So th this is a prototype of a watch that predicts the future. You, it's a smartwatch. You can download an app at your home. And this watch has access to your Facebook, calls, message, and everything. So if you got a message of your boyfriend or girlfriend telling you, oh, I feel really down because my boss was mean to me today, or I have problems, the watch will tell you, you should buy flowers or make a dinner for your boyfriend because he's really down. So that can make him, make him feel better or, or, or her. And also, maybe if you have an appointment uh, at some time, maybe 6 p.m., and you're at 5.30 and you're still at home, the watch will tell you, you should cancel the, the appointment because you're late. There's a traffic jam there, so in the way you, you need to go. And my favorite one, origami. For this, I would like you to know how to do this. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I give you a, a square piece uh, of paper. Uh, so you have first fold in half, better half, and then open it and fold again to the other half. So you can mark the corner. Now 